Republicans are preparing for a showdown at tomorrow's White House health care summit. The political st stakes are huge. GOP lawmakers getting a chance to showcase whatever alternatives they might have to the Democrats' health care plans in front of a potential television audience of millions of people. But that same audience will also bear witness if Republicans come across poorly. Joining us now, Republican Congressman Joe Barton. He is the ranking member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. He will be attending tomorrow's summit. Congressman, the million-dollar question is, what ideas will you be bringing to the table? I don't know that this is a showdown. I think it's a show up for us and then show off our ideas in touch with the American people. We believe in markets, competition, uh, transparency, uh, and lowering costs and giving uh, Americans that need health insurance that don't have it the opportunity to get it. We don't believe in mandates. Uh, we don't believe in bigger government. We don't believe in price controls. And we don't believe in higher taxes. Is there anything in the, pre in the plan that pre uh, President Obama proposed on Monday anything at all that you like? Well, some of the things in principle, we certainly want to cover people with a pre-existing condition. We have a, what we think is a better idea of how to do that. Uh, we also think that people ought to be able to take their insurance with them when they move jobs. The president supports that. So some of the concepts we support, but what we don't support is this massive government mandate telling people they have to have insurance, telling employers they have to provide it, and in the, in the president's latest proposal, uh, giving price control authority to this new government review board over state regulatory authorities. We don't like that at all. We had a pretty good debate going last hour, pretty heated, I might say. And uh, the Democrat guest was saying, I said to him, listen, uh, if nine out of ten Americans are happy with the health care coverage they have now, which is what the polls indicate, uh, why throw all of that out with this massive new system? He said, his answer was, then they can keep that health care coverage. Can they? No, not in not in the Senate bill. I mean, excuse me, not in the House bill, and we don't think in the in the president's proposal, because in those ideas, the employer is mandated what they have to do, and if the employer decides they don't like it, the employer can dump the employee into one of these pools uh, and pay a tax. So a lot of people that have health insurance that they like today, under the House bill and under the president's proposal, their employers would stop providing that insurance. So people People that have what they like in a lot of cases wouldn't get would not get to keep it. What about the notion of allowing insurance companies to sell plans across state lines? Is that something that you think? I think that's a great idea. Uh, Congressman Chattig of Arizona has a bill on that. Um, Representative Boehner, our leader in the House, when he put his proposal on the floor, that was in it. We think that's a market-based, transparent way. If you can sell a health insurance policy in Texas, somebody in California should have the right to, uh, to buy that policy, we believe. And if you do that, uh, health care prices in California would be a lot lower and you wouldn't need price controls to make that happen. Well, Republican Congressman Joe Barton, it's going to be an interesting time tomorrow at the White House. Thanks for joining us.